Hey guys, I'm going to show you today how to locate and identify what we call corresponding angles. Like alternate angles, corresponding angles are created when a transversal cuts through parallel lines. Now, we know from previous lessons that a transversal is this line here that cuts through a parallel line and it creates several angles and these angles, some of them have special relationships. One of the relationships we're going to be looking at today is the corresponding angle relationship. Now, as we did with alternate angles, we need to use the highlight trick to know how to locate and identify these angles in the parallel lines with a transversal intersecting them. How do we do it? We look for an F looking shape, an F. The F can be a normal F or upside down or back to front or even back to front upside down F. I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, here we have a pair of corresponding angles. How do we know they are corresponding? We look for an F shape. We highlight the angle, we highlight this angle, and we connect them together. Once we highlight the angle, we highlight this angle, we connect them together. As we can see, we have an F looking shape where our angle is here and there as well. So we have an angle there and an angle there. Makes an F looking shape. We know these alternate here, these are corresponding, these are corresponding as well. So these are corresponding to one another. Looking at this here, these are also corresponding. How do we know that are they corresponding or not? We highlight and we highlight and then we join them together and we can see that it makes an F upside down. Our angles there, there, there they are, an F upside down. Looking at this one here, another pair of corresponding angles, we highlight them and we highlight them again when we join to make again we can see an F looking shape upside down back to front. This is corresponding to that angle there. Once again we have two angles marked. We want to see are they corresponding or not. Let's see. We highlight this one, we highlight that one and we join together. We have an F back to front and therefore this angle here and this angle here are corresponding. A very important note that we need to realize are, is that corresponding angles are equal. They are equal to one another. So if this was 110 degrees, this would be 110. If this was 80 degrees, this would be 80 degrees. If this was 70, this would be 70. If this was 130, this one would also be 130. So it's very important that we can identify corresponding angles using the highlight trick. We highlight the angle, we join them together and we make an F looking shape. Once we find the F, we know straight away they are corresponding angles. Now we're going to use this rule or this concept to work out missing angles using corresponding angles. Okay guys, now that we've learned how to identify and locate corresponding angles using the F looking shape, we're going to find and look for a missing angle using this concept. Now looking at the example here, we have parallel lines marked with the arrows and we have our transversal cutting through creating all these different angles. And this example is saying that X is missing. So to identify and work out X, we need to know what rule can we use to find X. We look carefully and we use the highlight concept. We highlight this angle and we'll highlight that angle and we join them together. Once we join them together we can see we make an F looking shape, an F looking like that. Straight away we can recognize that these are corresponding angles and we know that corresponding angles are equal. Therefore very easy we can identify and we can say 
that x equals to 110 degrees. Why? Because they are corresponding. We have to write our reason. Corresponding angles in parallel lines. So that's our reason. Corresponding angles in parallel lines. X equals to 10. We highlighted each angle. We joined them together. And we know that corresponding angles make an F looking shape. Therefore, this makes an F looking shape. These are corresponding. Corresponding angles are equal. Let's try another example. We can see here that we have parallel lines and a transversal cutting through. And we are asked to find Y. Now let's highlight the angle. Let's highlight this angle. C, connect them together. Do we make an F looking shape? Yes, we have an F looking shape upside down where our angle is here and there. And we know corresponding angles are equal. Therefore, Y equals to 60 degrees. And our reason, always write our reason. Corresponding angles in parallel lines. Our answer and our reason, very, very important. We'll get full marks the way we write it like that. Our answer and our reason as well. Here, again, we have parallel lines and we have a transversal cutting through. This angle is marked as 120 and we are asked to find the missing angle here marked with an X. We highlight and we highlight. And then we join together, see what shape we can make. We make an F looking shape and the F looks like that. It's been flipped or rotated. So therefore this angle here and this angle here are corresponding, which means that X is going to be 120 degrees. And of course our reason all the time, corresponding angles in parallel lines. And of course we always use a parallel sign, that's what it is. Corresponding angles in parallel lines, x is 120, we are using the corresponding angle reason. We've justified our answer and this way we will get full marks no matter what shape or how it looks like. As long as we have parallel lines, we look for a corresponding angle or sometimes we look for an alternate angle. It depends on the shape when we highlight. We can straight away recognize and find out this is corresponding or this is alternate and then you can actually work this out. In this case here, we are looking at corresponding angles that make an F looking shape.